there, I'm Yana. In today's video, I'll just show you how I do my full cover uh, nail tips. And I actually found some really short ones. They say extra, extra small. Um, I finally got them in the mail, so today I'm gonna put these on. I got everything laid out here in front of me and all I'm doing right now is just cleaning my natural nail. I did some filing with my electric file. I will clip some of the dead skin off my nail beds and just push back the cuticle, then go wash my hands and continue on. and washed my hands with some soap and water to get the extra oils off and I want to take a quick look at these nail tips I haven't opened them yet these are um, gel like EC soft gel tips extra short square and um, I have this brand in a different shape but um, they are too long so I was hoping to find a set that I can use as is and not have to reshape them or trim them. I am pretty excited to use these. It looks like zero is the largest and they are really small and short. It, it's like actually perfect for my thumb. So let's see here, number, what number do I usually use? Number three. I think these will be great and I won't have to trim them or shape them. I mean, it's not the best shape, but they are really, this actually brings me to my next step to size them. They are sized. I had to trim a little bit on the side over here for this middle finger on the left hand um, and then the next thing is to file these down inside even though they are filed a little bit in there I still want to use my electric file and do that all right I'm done filing them and wiped everything down just for reference, I'm going to show you how short my nail bed is, my natural nail in centimeters. It's, that's my thumb, really short. And then these nail tips, they are, the thumb is, let's see here in the middle, it's like one and a half centimeters. So yeah, these are the shortest I've found and I have a bunch of nail tips like I can quickly show you. And none of these are as short as these that I just got. Onto the next step here, I will be putting this dehydrator onto my natural nails and then I'm gonna put a little thin layer, um, thin coat of this nail tip glue onto my natural nail as well. Okay, the thin coat is on and the next thing I do is I have a pure lamp right here. It's attached so that way I can um, use it to do each nail individually. So I'm going to start off with the pinky, kind of work my way back up. And for the pinky, I'm just going to grab the pinky here. Start with just a thin coat here. Then I add a thicker um, glob of it, kind of doing this to get as much of the glue onto the nail tip as possible. And I know this looks thick and a lot, but because my natural nail is flat and wide, I have to use it because the nail tips are slightly curved, but my natural nail is not. So between those two differences, I need to have more product. 
So then I'm going to turn on the quick cure lamp here. It's like this. I'm just going to point it right here and then I'm going to place the nail tip and right here. I'm just slightly squishing it down just to get the little air bubbles out and just to get it to attach. These nail tips are so um, short that I can't see what it's doing because I have my thumb over it. Okay, let me see here. It looks like there's no air bubbles, just a little bit on the side. So I'm going to flip my nail over. I'm just going to keep it there for a few more seconds or so, just so that it cures for as long as possible. And then I'm going to move on to the next tip and do all of the um, tips like that. And then after I'm done with my hand, I'm going to place it into this uh, UV lamp that I have here. And this one's stronger. And then I'm going to do the entire hand for two minutes to fully cure the product. but I am pretty much out of product of the nail glue here. So I'm gonna have to use whatever I have left in the other um, nail glue, the foundation, the gelish brand. So I'm gonna do that on my right hand. as well I did have a few errors here there's not enough product in this one this one's missing a little bit and then I had an air bubble in here with this one but most of this is because I was trying to use as least amount of product per finger because I wasn't sure if I'm gonna have enough to do the entire set but I'm gonna order some more of this nail glue and next set hopefully I'll be able to do better from here on to the next step is filing these down and getting them prepped for the base coat and nail polish color tips are filed down so I'm gonna off camera just check them and then make sure that they're filed well and then go wash my hands clean my hands make sure I'm ready for the next step of nail polish I went ahead and cleaned up everything and washed my hands I'm gonna put a little bit of this alcohol in here just in case I need to wipe off some overspill with my nail polish and then I'm just gonna wipe it down a little bit here as well just get all of this cleaned up a little bit I'm gonna leave these right here so that I'm able to grab those as I need and then here is my lineup of nail polish I'm thinking As you can see, 
see I'm going with the blue theme. And then I have also the base gel, top gel in two styles here, the glossy and the matte. I think I'm gonna do maybe one or two tips that are matte and the rest will be glossy. I'm not exactly sure yet. coats are done and I'm about to do the top coat. done and this is the finished product I am actually happy with these the length of the nail tips they are perfect for everyday use and just perfect for my short natural nail bed I think I'll go on Amazon and see if they have any other ones these are the square ones so I'm gonna see if they have any other shapes and try those out so stay tuned for future videos so far these are my favorite I will link them down below Thank you so much for watching. 